Welcome to Brandy Creek Farm, home of Cascadia Sport Horses. Today we're going to show you some of our tips and techniques for turning out and presenting, preparing a horse that's for sale. Whether you're marketing a horse online or at a horse show, you want to make sure your horse stands out in a crowd. Here at Cascadia Sport Horses, we're celebrating a fabulous first year operating a program that focuses exclusively on the sales and marketing of hunters, jumpers, equitation horses, and ponies. So follow us into the barn and watch as we go through our day-to-day -day routine to present your horse and make sure they stand out in the crowd. So this is Cover Girl. We call her Tyra in the barn. She's a nine-year-old Canadian warm-blood mare. She's a hunter and an equitation horse, and she's going to be our model today for our daily grooming routine. I always start by putting Shoshin in the horse's tails. We brush our horse's tails every day. Um, I find that that keeps them from getting hung up on bucket hooks, paddock fencing, uh, and really allows them to grow long and full. So as I walk to the side, I always pull the tail to the side, spray some Shoshin in, let that set for a minute. While the Shoshin is setting in her tail, I grab my curry comb and I always start at the neck giving a good firm rub with my curry comb. This process brings the oils and the dirts to the surface, helps the horse get clean to the skin. It sheds the horse out of old coat and ultimately is what makes them extra shiny. You cannot curry your horse too much. This horse came with a very bleached coat and she's naturally almost black and you can still see some bleaching but as her new coat is coming in, she's getting very dark and very dappled. We've had a lot of people say, as they've seen this horse go through the summer, how different she looks. So a good curry. And I would spend more time normally, but because we're videoing, that's a quick rundown. From there, I use my mitt. I use the mitt on the face to shed and bring those dirts to the surface of the face. I shed the ears of the horses that will allow me to do that. And I use the mitt on the legs. So running down the length of the leg, paying special attention to any area like behind the elbows or at the hocks where they could get scurf. During this time of grooming, I'm also careful to feel each leg of the horse. I want to know each horse is normal and know if anything's coming along for these horses. If there's any swelling or heat, a bump or cut that we need to manage. Next, I'll move to a medium bristled brush. I don't like stiff brushes on the body of the horse. I also have my curry comb in my hand to clean as I go. I start with the face. And then move down the neck and body of the horse. Each section, I use my curry comb to clean the brush. You can't get your horse clean with dirty equipment. Make sure you get under their belly where the girth will go. The next step for me is to brush the mane and the tail. Like I said, I brush their tails every day. I also just run through their forelock, their mane, and their tail with a brush. This mare's mane is banded down because she has a, a stand-up mane. I will touch on that in another segment, but we like to keep her mane training to the side. When you brush the tail, always pull it to the side so you're not in danger of being kicked. Start at the bottom.
and work your way up. If you do this every day, the tail stays tangle free and you don't pull out hairs when you brush the tail. The next step is to pick their feet. This is probably the most important step. If you're in a hurry and you can't go through a full grooming, a medium body brush and a hoof pick are probably the most important steps. As you're picking their feet, you want to pay attention to any tenderness. Make sure that the shoe is well attached, that there's no springing of the shoe in the heels, and that the foot looks healthy. And you would go around and do all four feet. Next for me is to take a damp brush and lay the mane over. This also gets any little shavings that didn't come out when you used the hairbrush. If you're training a mane or you have a difficult mane like this, the damp brush to train this mane down, to wet this mane, teach it to lay flat to the horse's neck is really important. If your horse's mane is naturally flat to the neck, you could probably skip this step unless you were at a horse show or preparing your horse for a trial. If your horse has a bushy top of the tail or dock of the tail, you could use that wet brush and just train that tail to lay flat. We would do that on both sides, but for today we're just going to do the right side of Tyra. The next step in this weather is fly spray. The flies are a huge nuisance and they bite the horses, so I always start at the front legs, go up the neck and shoulder, come across the back, the belly, and down her haunches. I will do both sides here just so she's comfortable. I then take a towel, apply a few sprays of fly spray to the towel, and then wipe she doesn't love this. Wipe it carefully around the eye, not on the eye. Go around the eye, down the face, and into her nostrils, around her nostrils, so that the bugs aren't bothering her face. And the very last step is to make sure that her nose Her eyes, the corners of her eyes, and the inside of her ears are clean. And if you do this every day, they get quite comfortable with you handling the interior of their ear, and that helps when we're clipping them that it's not stressful for the horse. None of this should be stressful. If I'm showing a horse to a client for a trial or a horse show, I'll finish with a little hoof polish. This just dresses up their feet. And it's those finishing touches that make these horses stand out in a crowd. If it's a particularly dusty day or you're at a horse show where they need that extra shine, we like to use the finishing mist. This is from Shoshin from Absorbing. Um, I like it because it's not slippery and it really helps to repel the dust. So we just give a little squirt and then take your towel and wipe off any of that surface dust. And you can see that the dapples in her coat are starting to bloom and show after this grooming process. <laughs>